So today's video is a fun one. I'm talking about products that I received in PR that I ended up loving and I'm still loving and I specifically chose to talk about items that I probably never would have actually bought for myself. They weren't on my radar, I wasn't interested, I might not have even known that they existed but they ended up incorporating themselves into quite a regular routine of mine. All of these have been pretty game-changing products if you ask me and the most exciting part is I would not have discovered them had it not been for receiving them in PR. I am so grateful for my job and that brands want to send me their products to test out and hopefully come with good feedback. You know, I will not hold back. <laughs> and PR sometimes, you know, it does get a bad rep, but... As much as I do love to purchase products that I want to try, I have no issue purchasing makeup that I want to talk about with you guys. I do accept PR because there have been many occasions, as you'll see in this video, where I was pleasantly surprised and ended up falling with a product that I never would have expected. So let's go ahead and get into it. A huge thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring this portion of today's video because they are a brand I would not have tried had I not tried their products in PR are and really really good products now if you've never heard of city beauty they develop products with aging in mind so their products are made to target those stubborn signs of wrinkles fine lines dark spots hyperpigmentation and while i am now 27 i am starting to try and take more preventative measures as well and these products i can definitely tell were targeted towards a more mature audience, which I think makes them twice as good. So some of the products that I've received from them that have been game changing, we'll start off with skincare. I love a good sheet mask. They have these line smoothing hydro masks, which really plump and smooth the skin. So this biocellulose sheet mask supports skin elasticity, which is going to help kind of reduce the look of fine line and wrinkles. And it has this plumping serum that has antioxidants and all of this good stuff for your skin. And it actually really nourishes my skin. I like it because it doesn't feel too wet. After you've had it on for 20 or 30 minutes, you can take it off and most of the product has already gotten into the skin and it leaves behind the prettiest glow and it's not just a glow because your face is wet it's a glow from the serum in the product so it's not too heavy it's great at the beginning of the day and it really leaves the skin hydrated and smooth and more plump looking so this is a great sheet mask to check out this is my second tube or bottle whatever tub jar of the Invisicrepe body balm if you like body lotions I think you'll like this the scent is really subtle so it's not overpowering if you're sensitive to fragrance and this is called Invisicrepe so it's formulated specifically to reduce the appearance of thin wrinkled and crepey skin so if you have that crepey skin look this is great because it adds a lot of extra hydration and really plumps the look of the skin and it's not too thick on the skin you don't have to spend forever to blend it out it soaks into the skin pretty quickly so overall I just like it for the long lasting moisture that it gives and the firmer smoother more plump look that it gives to the skin because my legs have been looking real dry so I love that that's literally my second jar of it and I have a lot of other body lotions that I could have used now this one I'm kind of like really sad about you guys okay so this is the night oil oh so so beautiful. I literally had it in my purse and it was in a separate bag with my nail glue for emergencies and the nail glue leaked so I can't open it which is really sad because uh this is out of stock to like July or August or something but this is beautiful when it does come back into stock. So this is an overnight lip mask though I use it any time of the day honestly that's why I had it in my purse. It is a really deeply hydrating lip oil I guess it is a lip oil but it's not super duper thick it actually has a thinner feel it's not sticky and it does give that rich hydration to the lips it's a great quick intensive treatment and it gives a younger look overnight because it's supposed to rejuvenate like the wrinkled lips kind of smooth them out and give a little bit more volume so I love 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 this product it's so comfortable I need to have my husband try to uh, rip this one open because I want it back 
And then the last couple of products for City Beauty, they have some of the best lip products that I've ever tried. I've talked about these in multiple videos. So they have the City Lips Matte, which is like a non-drying lip cream formulation. It comes in four shades. Right now, I currently have on the shade Blush Rose. This also gives a plumping effect, but it doesn't feel too plumpy. Like, it's not uncomfortable. It's just like a nice little minty feeling on the lips. And it also has ingredients that's going to help nourish and plump the lips as well. So these are a really nice, lightweight, long-lasting lip cream. And then the City Lips, oh my gosh, Plumping Lip Gloss is one of my all-time favorite lip glosses. I've talked about these many times before because these are incredible. They come in 14 shades, so many different finishes. They have clear, they have shimmer, they have sheer, they have full pigment. I think I'm wearing Pink Nude today, which is a full pigment. Why I like these is because they are a thicker formula but still quite comfortable and they completely smooth over the lips to give the most plump effect possible in my opinion. Like, I got small little lips incredible how smooth and hydrating these also are on the lips. So this just gives a really great hydration and a huge plump to the lips. If you're gonna get one thing, the lip glosses, I mean, completely stand out. One of the best lip glosses I've ever used. And I'm not just saying it because it's sponsored. I literally feel that way. So if you want to try out City Beauty, they did give me a code. You can use code MORGAN30 for 30% off site-wide. This 30% off sale from May 26th to May 30th. So if you're interested in that, I will have that linked down below for you to shop from. Thank you, City Beauty, for sponsoring this. Let's get into it. Okay, so I have a couple of skincare products that I pulled first that were game-changing to my skin. The first is from Ula Henriksen. This is the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. I went through a phase where I was struggling really bad with acne and acne spots, and I swear this cleared up my skin, and it also is great for reducing those acne spots really, really fast. I've talked about this a ton on my channel. I've bought this maybe three or four times. I'm not actively using it right now because my skin is really, really good, but whenever I'm having troubled times, I go to that and it's always my savior. And then another skincare product that was absolutely game-changing is from Laneige. I got this in PR a couple years ago. This is the Cream Skin Mist, and this is literally like a shot of hydration for the skin. So on mornings that my skin is feeling a little bit more dry than usual, I will spray this on my face and instantly my skin just feels so much more hydrated. It literally is like a moisturizer in a spray. It's beautiful. If you struggle with dry skin, I definitely recommend that. Primers. I have a three. I mean, this is a long video, so I hope you guys have a drink and a snack. So I received this Shantikai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint in the mail and oh my gosh it's become one of my favorite bases because it's definitely that perfect hybrid of skincare and makeup. It's a great makeup primer because it leaves behind like a sheer rosy tint to the face but it's nothing overpowering or unflattering. And then of course Shantika has like the best skincare ever. So I love this. Um, my stance on Shantika, as you know, I think they're very, very expensive. So I personally don't spend my money on them very often. However, when I run out of this, this one, I will be repurchasing and it will be worth it. The next primer that I have is from Hard Candy. Hard Candy can be hit or miss for me, so I don't purchase from them too often. So they sent over this Sheer Envy Glow Serum Primer, and this is one of my favorite hydrating slash glowy primers from the drugstore. You have to be careful. You can't use too much or your skin will look oilier throughout the day because it is a little heavy, but it is truly one of my favorite glowy primers, especially at the price point that you can pick this up. I've talked about this a lot in videos recently because I love it so much. It is a little bit more metallic, but in a good way, not in an overpowering way. Then the last primer that I discovered in PR was from Armani Beauty. This is the Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer. This is a great, really glowy primer, but it does give intense hydration as well. You can see the pattern with what kind of primers that I like. This one was one of the first glowy primers that I ever fell in love with, and I can't believe I got it in a PR package, but I did, and I'm still using it and recommending it years later. That's how much I love this. I also discovered these amazing e.l.f. camo color correctors in PR. These are products that I'm not typically super into, but I have the whole range from the orange to the blue to the green to the yellow to the peach, and I find myself using 
all of the shades, which is not what I would have ever expected. The consistency is really thin, so it's not going to mess up anything that you put on top of it, you know? It's not going to mess up the consistency. However, this is great for changing the tone of your foundation or your concealer if you want to cool it down or warm it up. I also color correct, like today I used the green on an acne spot that is not going away, and the peach for an under eye corrector. I use these all the time. These have been incorporated into my everyday makeup routine. And I never would have realized or discovered these had it not been for receiving these in PR. Next, I only have one foundation because typically I buy my foundations myself for color matching purposes. But Kali Ray sent me one singular PR package ever. In that singular package was the Skin Wellness Diffusing Tint. So this is kind of like a tinted clean foundation. It doesn't have too much coverage, but this is a beautiful summer product. You'll see in the demo, it's very, very liquidy, but it gives like a light medium coverage. I think it is perfect for the summer. I think it's perfect for those of you that want lighter weight makeup, not too much coverage. It looks beautiful on the skin. It wears very nice as well. So that's one of my favorite foundations that I've ever received in PR. And I can guarantee you, I probably never would have tried Kali Ray had it not been for that package. And there's stuff was really, really good. Next up, concealers. I have three. The first one is from Haley's Beauty. This is the Rewind Blurring Full Coverage Concealer. This looks just really soft on the under eyes and it provides a good amount of coverage as well. I feel like if my under eyes are looking a little drier, this is the perfect consistency. When I went out west to California last week, my under eyes were looking drier than ever. I just was not used to that climate. Man, this would have been helpful if I had packed it because I needed that hydration. This also wears extremely well, especially given that it is so hydrating on the under eyes. And the tip of it is metal, which is also really cooling. I don't know, just a random concealer that I received and it's truly one of my favorite concealers. It's a really, really nice one. I have it on this eye. I just feel like the under eyes never look heavy or cakey or creasy with that one. This one is random. I was gonna skip out on this launch, but they sent it to me in PR anyways, and I did a random review and fell in love with the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer. I love it because it's full coverage, it's not too drying, it doesn't look too heavy, but it's heavy duty. It's going to give you what you want a concealer to do. It's gonna conceal. So I use this all the time. I've talked about it a bunch, and this was a PR package that I received, and it's one of my new favorite not even new anymore. It's been a favorite concealer for months and months. If you're looking for something full coverage, this one from Urban Decay is fantastic. And I discovered it through PR. I remember looking at the launch and thinking I was going to skip out on it because I just, I wasn't feeling purchasing a new concealer, but man, that one was worth the purchase. Well, it would have been worth the purchase had I done it. And then the last concealer is a newer one, but I wanted to talk about it because I do consider it to be very unique from the drugstore. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Glow Concealer. So this is a lighter coverage, but it has more of a glowy finish to it, which I think is going to be really great for mature skin. I had a concealer in my makeup kit that was very similar to this, that they ended up discontinuing it. I'm no longer doing makeup, but if I was, I would put these in my kit for more mature skin or for hydrating a more dry concealer. So I put it on top of the Haley's Beauty Concealer because I needed to brighten it up. But yeah, if you're looking for a lighter, glowy, mature skin friendly concealer from the drugstore, this one is great. I love mixing this with those drier concealers. And it's just one of the best, most unique concealers at the drugstore because I feel like drugstore has not gotten a good hold of like a lighter glowy concealer and they did a fantastic job with that one. I have some cream products and then we'll do powder. So I have a cream blush. This I worked with, I think it was Derm Store and I got to pick out a bunch of stuff. So I tried the Daniel Sandler Watercolor Liquid Cheek Color and this is one of the most underrated products on the market. It is an amazing liquid blush. It's not too pigmented. It's not too sheer. It looks so healthy on the skin. It looks literally exactly like skin and they have a beautiful color range as well. I highly recommend these. I've always recommended them as soon as I got this. So. Oldie but a goodie. And then 
I don't know, like, I know the concept was products that I never would have bought. I feel like I might have bought these, but I did discover these in PR. These are from About Face. They're the Cheek Freak Blush Balms. You know, cream blushes are so popular right now, and I think that this is a great formula, and best of all, they have the best color range. That's mostly what I'm giving kudos here for. Love the formula, it's beautiful, it has some nice pigment, it's hydrating on the cheek, but they also managed to create like the best shade range as well. I love these, these are such a good cream blush formulation. Definitely on my top favorites list. I don't know about number one because there's a lot of good cream blushes out there, but those ones, oh. They are so good and About Face also came in and launched, in my opinion, the best cream highlighter. And you know my backstory, I do not like cream highlighters, but this one from About Face is so good. This is the Light Lock Stick in Greek Tragedy. I definitely would have never purchased this on my own because I hate these kinds of products. But yeah, literally the best cream highlight goes onto the skin really beautifully. It doesn't break anything up. It gives the prettiest glow. It's a great last minute just do -do 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 when I want a specific pinpointed spot for my highlighter. Obsessed with that. I feel like my voice is really <coughs> cranky today. Remember, I was a teacher, a PE teacher before this. So <laughs> I should be way more used to talking and I'm not even projecting my voice. I used to have to project my voice for hours. And now I'm like, <coughs> one 20 minute video. Okay. <laughs> cream slash liquid product is a cream highlighter or liquid highlighter from Beauty Pie. I definitely would never have tried Beauty Pie had it not been for them sending me some things. And whew, they have some amazing things in their line. Just like this Triple Beauty Luminizing Wands, which is definitely a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one. And I feel like this is better than the Charlotte Tilbury wand. It is a liquid consistency. It doesn't break up anything underneath. Very picky with liquid highlighters as well. And this one, they killed it with. One of the best, if not the best, liquid highlights does not get enough attention if I am wearing a liquid highlight because I'm staying away specifically from powder. If it's not the About Face, it's this one. Tarte also has a good one, but I purchased that, so that's why. <laughs> you know, maybe I need to do a cream and liquid highlighters I actually like video. Now we're on to powder products. The first one is a setting powder from Sigma Beauty. I'm sorry, but nothing sounds more uninteresting than picking up a setting powder from Sigma Beauty, but oh my gosh, this is such a good blurring powder. So this is a soft focus setting powder. I have mine in the shade Vanilla Bean. It really just snatches you up, blurs the skin, makes your pores disappear, gives a really soft appearance to the face. Very similar finish to my Maybelline Fit Me and my Huda Beauty. It's like Sigma Beauty is <laughs> pretty close up there with them. I was shocked when I tried this powder. I love it. It's one of the best setting powders and definitely would not have purchased that by myself. But wow, I am thankful they sent it to me because it's an amazing setting powder. Jose's on the phone. Who he talking to? I'm about to find out. I don't know who he was talking to, but it was in Spanish, so I think it was somebody in his family. Anyways, I continuing on. I'm so nosy. <laughs> this. Also really, really nice from Kaleidos. This is the Symphony Contour Trio, and it's a really smooth, dare I say somewhat hydrating powder, even though it's a powder. I love using this for touch-ups for that extra little bit of snatcheroo. I also love this highlight powder because it really comes in handy when you just need to brighten up certain areas. No, I mean, the concept is really boring to me. That's why I never would have picked it up. But it's just one of those situations, like, it's a necessity. You just end up using it all the time because it's so functional. So, yeah, I use this all of the time. So thank you, Kaleidos, for that. And then this one is from One Size. This is the Cheek Clapper Blush Trio in the shade Attention Seeker, which I know it's shocking. I would not have picked this up. But I wouldn't have because I had already tried this formula before, and I thought the formula was fine. But I just, once I try at least one of a formula, 
you know, I don't need to purchase more colors, especially with the size of my collection. But, um, I received this in PR and I ended up doing a few pieces of content covering it. And um, they did really, really well because a lot of people were interested in this. So this has a cream blush, powder blush, and then kind of like a highlighty, shimmery shade. Gorgeous. I ended up falling in love with this color. It's so much prettier than the Dior pink that kind of made that blue pink popular. But yeah, this is much more flattery. It's a great formula. So happy that they sent this to me because now that I'm wearing that really pink blush color all of the time, this is a good one. It has like all of the finishes here. A really amazing powder blush formula that I discovered in PR. Definitely would not have purchased these on my own, but wow. It's a great blush formula from the brand Wonder 2. These are made in Italy, and I just have a rosy blush and a peachy blush. I think these spread beautifully over the skin. They're very easy to apply. They have a very subtle sheen on the skin that does not emphasize texture, and it just gives that a live look. It doesn't mattify the face, but it doesn't outwardly look like you have something shimmery on it. Satin, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> it is like a satin finish. They blend beautifully. The colors that they have in the range are just really great basic colors, if that makes sense. Just a solid blush formulation overall. You know, when I received these, I was like, oh, blush, fine, you know, plain packaging didn't really catch my eye. And then I applied them and I was like, Oh, this is a really, really solid blush formula. So if I'm just looking for a good blush formula that's going to last, that's going to stay, that's going to look nice, be flattering, I reached for these guys. I don't think I talk about these on camera quite as often, but I've been using these off camera. They're really great staple blushes in my routine. And then last of complexion is a powder highlight, Maven Beauty, and I will be talking about a few more of their products coming up here. This is Fashion Nova's makeup brand. I don't think I own a single clothing item from Fashion Nova, but they send me some of their makeup and their makeup is really good. Like this highlight, First of all, it's made in Canada, and it's just a really stunning formula. I think I'm wearing the shade Dripped Out. It has a really smooth application. It's seamless. That's what I look for in a good highlighter is how seamless it is, and these are some of the most seamless highlighters and they're so light on the skin. It's not like a thick powder. It just grazes over a beautiful, beautiful formula. It's made in Canada, but it has like an Italian kind of baked gelée feel to them. Random, but Maven Beauty's highlight formula is one of my favorites. When I am looking for a quick powder highlight, I'm not caring too much about the brand or whatever, I find that I often gravitate towards these because I know the application is just gonna be seamless. Love these. Eyebrows. This category was a little tough for me. I didn't know if I really had anything in this category, but then I remembered that these Isom brow defining pencils were sent to me in PR and I literally put these in my makeup kit. That's how good they were. They're just a really nice thin brow pencil. A lot of brands do a good brow pencil. This one is a great brow pencil. I love how much control I have with this one. I feel like it can be really, really precise. These have become such a regular part of my routine that I even forgot that this was a PR purchase. Well, eventually I purchased them on my own, but my love for these started off in PR. So shout out to Isom for these, an amazing brow pencil. And then this one is so random. Do you know Ardell like randomly will put out makeup products? So their eyebrow stuff, side note, really nice. I recently tried a brow gel from them that was really good, but this is the Limitless Enhancer and I think I'm the only person I've ever like heard of talk about these. Like the only person to have ever tried these is what I feel like, but uh, this is a great dupe. I think ABH has a version of this, Benefit does, but this is so malleable. I use it to highlight my under brow, so I'll just literally draw randomly under my brow and then it's malleable enough where I can go in with a synthetic brush and just kind of map it out and blend it out to where I want. So I love how easy this is to shape out the under brow to add a little bit of highlight, it blends with ease. I mean, this is still the first one that I received in PR, but when I run out, I'll repurchase this one. I like it better than the ABH and the Benefit ones. And then for eyeshadow, we'll start off with what I'm wearing. These are so random. Again, I have not heard many people talk about these, but the Maven Beauty eyeshadow quads, 
I love the concept. I think the concept is pretty unique. I love the packaging. I think the orange is fun. I love how thin they are. I love how you can see what you're working with. But how these are organized, listen to this. There's the soft blend, which is a quad of four mats. There is the bold blend, which is a little bit deeper in tone. Then we have the medium blend, again, a medium kind of tone. There even is the define, which is meant to define, which has four different tones of definition shades. And then I also have spotlight, which is supposed to be put on the eyelid. I used a number of these palettes today to create this look that I'm wearing. It reminds me a lot of MAC this does but the formula is really really smooth easy to blend very easy to use never heard anybody talk about these really and i think the quality on them is amazing and if i'm in the need for a certain kind of color family depth family basic good shades maven beauty has it i know so today the look i did was really simple i went in with the medium blend and i started off with this shade in the crease really easy to blend out. And then I warmed it up a little bit with this shade right here, a little bit more focused in the outer corner. And then I blended in a little bit of the color right here next to it. More depth, slowly building it up, really getting that soft blend. Finished off with the matte shades with Define. I used the dark brown right in the outer, outerest corner just to get that definition. These are also really great for eyeshadows. If you're looking for a good powder eyeshadow for eyeliner, I mean, powder eyeshadow eyeliner. These ones are really great. Like this quad is fabulous for those different tones. And then on the eyelid, I just use this kind of rosy shimmer, which the shimmers aren't as great. I recommend the mattes more so, but I have it all over the lid. I don't know, I love these little guys. I've talked about them in a few videos. I think they're great. And then another one that I discovered in PR was from Nabla. This is a side-by-side -side nude palette, and this has easily become one of the best neutral slash nude palettes on the market. It has cool tones, chocolatey tones, neutrals, some lighter shades. It has everything you need for a complete look. Highlighter shade, eyeliner, just a really great neutral palette. All in one if you ask me. Great for a beginner, really great quality. Discovered this in PR and I've continued to talk about it numerous years now as one of the best neutral slash starter palettes. Now eyeliners, this one I randomly got in a boxy charm which was sent via PR, so I'm counting it, and this is one of the best eyeliners ever. Random, it's from Tarte. Had never even heard about this before I received it. The Double Take Awake Eyeliner. So one side is a really tiny black little marker tip, felt tip, which reminds me a lot of my $60 Tom Ford liquid liner. It's super black, lasts a long time, really easy to create a wing with. And then the other side is a brightener, which is just a cream light shade, which lasts forever in the waterline, like longer than so many other eyeliners. I need to get this in more colors. It really is one of the best quality eyeliners I've ever used. Lasts a long time, doesn't smudge, doesn't budge. And I got this in a random boxy charm, and it's amazing. <laughs> and then for mascaras, so the first one that I have is from e.l.f. This is the Lash and Roll. I don't even look at mascaras when they launch. I have little lashes, can't trust them. But this one gives a lot of separation and lift to my lashes that a lot of mascaras won't give. I know it doesn't look as impressive on my eyelashes, but I just, I don't have impressive eyelashes. I have an event tonight, so I have to take this off and redo my event makeup. So I didn't want to put falsies on. I normally like falsies but I can't apply too many falsies in one day where I'll, the glue will collect on my lash line. But anyways, that was not necessary to mention. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like this mascara. Lift, length, and separation. And then another one, which was a game-changing one, is from Tower 28. This is the Make Waves mascara, which this is a repurchase. They sent me the first one in PR. I have since repurchased it with my own money. Again, gives great length, separation, volume. Honestly, very similar to the e.l.f. I'll be honest, the Tower 28, I think, is better, but these perform very similar. I'm not opening this one yet because I have a lot of other mascaras that I'm working through, but one of my favorites. And we're already on to lips. So let's start off with the Esam lip liners. Eyeliners, eyebrow pencils, lip liners. Esam does a really good job with them. I like these because they are double-sided and the sides tend to have really nice colors. You know, they have a neutral pink, 
rose, red, brown. They have a lot of colors in this line, which is really great because they're very, very smooth on the lips. I don't know. They're not like the most super long lasting, but I love how easy they are to apply and they have a great range of colors. Discovered these in PR, put them in my bridal kit because they were that good. Have a set for myself because they're that good. So yeah, these are a pretty regular part of my beauty routine. So, and it started in PR. And then these are the best lip formula from ColourPop in my opinion that I discovered in PR. The Glowing Lips, a very trendy kind of product right now. It gives like a glowy lip balmy look, but has a little bit more pigment than a tinted lip balm. I think in the demo, I used the shade La Sienga. Really great. I love how plump it makes the lips look. I love how comfortable these are. And like I said, a little bit more of a pigmented tinted lip balm. Just a really trendy type of formula that was very well executed from ColourPop. And as ColourPop does, it has a huge shade range with shades that you will love. And then also one of my all-time favorite lip liners that I received in PR was from Tower 28. These are the one liners. You can use them on more than lips though. I do prefer these on the lips. There were three shades and I always talk about these. I lost one, <laughs> but I think the three shades that they came out with were really useful, very flattering, very versatile with a lot of other products. It is a pencil form, so I find that it's a little bit drier, which helps it last longer and then also have more precision for application. Just an ideal lip pencil for me, so I've used those constantly, like all the time. And I discovered those from PR. And I'm thinking if this last shade doesn't show up soon, I might have to purchase it because I think that one was my favorite shade. Hmm. Two more lip products to finish off this video, which is a tinted lip balm this time. Was not expecting to like these. I don't really purchase tinted lip balms like that. I don't purchase lip products anymore at all because I have so much. But Lawless sent me these tinted lip balms that are honestly bomb. And at first I didn't like these because they felt like they were a little dry and had some pool. But honestly, once you kind of swipe over a couple of times, they're all warmed up and they are so nice. Very hydrating. I think give off the perfect amount of color for an everyday light look. Really smooths out the lip lines. Just good because you can wear it without any makeup, but it also looks great when you do have a full face of makeup on. Very versatile. Very easy to just throw in your purse. So I've used these all the time and I discovered these in PR and I think these are one of my all time favorite tinted lip balm formulas. Those have had a lot of mention, a lot of screen time on my channel lately, just like these. These have gotten a ton of screen time on my channel lately. These are from Clarins. They are the lip oils and they give me these little lips, the plumpest look that they have ever seen. I don't know what it is, but this has like the most reflective finish, which like makes my lips jump off of my face. Definitely being dramatic, because these little things don't be jumping off my face. But really, it gives such a juicy, glassy look to my lips. I particularly like the shade Patea or Raspberry. They kind of give off like a tinted color underneath. Honey right here is a nice clear one on the lips. I used cherry, I believe, in the demo, but yeah, you can see how glossy and smooth these make my lips look. They are fantastic. Okay, there we have it. Those are all of the products in PR. Probably not all. I'm sure there's more, but these are products in PR that I probably never would have bought for myself. A lot of times probably wouldn't have never heard of, but thank you to these brands for sending these to me because these products quite literally were game changers for me. These weaseled their way into a regular grab of mine. I mean, I'm always constantly testing new products, so my regular is probably not a normal person's regular, but these are always on the forefront of my mind when I come to pull products that I leisurely would like to use because I just enjoy them. So thank you to all of these brands that provided these products, and thank you to you guys for supporting me and my channel so that I am able to do this and receive these products and test them. And a huge thank you to City Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Remember, May 26th to May 30th, you can get 30% off. I will have all of the products that I talked about today linked down below, especially from City Beauty. We'll be sitting right at the top. Use the code MORGAN30 to get 30% off at checkout. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.